He's the first high-level visitor since the new leaders of Ukraine called on their allies for help. The British Foreign Secretary visited Independence Square before going into talks with the government. The question facing Ukraine and the West, how to get Russia to pull its troops out of Crimea. For now, they're counting on political and economic pressure. Russia should be in no doubt about this. This is something that we take very seriously, that we have to take very seriously. Um, because if this, is, if this becomes the normal way of behaving in the world, uh, of intruding upon and violating the sovereignty of neighbours, uh, well then clearly that would be an even bigger crisis. A quick question for the Prime Minister, please. You've described a military invasion of part of Ukraine's territory. Are you satisfied that you're getting enough support? We try to resolve this crisis using only diplomatic and political tools. Have you given up on Crimea, sir? Crimea is the territory of Ukraine. And despite the presence of Russian military, despite the fact that Russian military supports an illegal government, we will tackle this problem. The Russian foreign minister has reportedly not been taking calls from Ukrainian ministers, but he was talking to journalists on Monday. This is a question of defending our citizens and compatriots and ensuring human rights and the right to life. Those who are trying to interpret the situation as a type of aggression and threaten sanctions and boycotts, these are the same partners of ours who constantly have encouraged their political forces to refuse dialogue and have ultimately polarised Ukrainian society. The next important visitor expected in Kiev is the US Secretary of State. He too will be looking for a way out of the most serious confrontation between Russia and the West since the end of the Cold War. Jackie Rowland, Al Jazeera, Kiev.